judge this week. Watch Jeopardy! tonight at 7 on ABC7. So, you guys ever flip through the magazine? And I always do this for those um, uh, splurge or save kind of pages. You ever flip through the magazine when you see those, those makeovers? You'd say to yourself, I'd be a great before if only they came to my house and asked me. Well, we heard from a viewer. Her name's Jen. She loves the those next to no money apartment makeovers that she's always seeing. You know, you see them sometimes in the fashion magazines and always in the decorating magazines. So we thought that we would help her try and bring those pages to life. Watch this. We live in this apartment and it is just plain boring. And it doesn't represent me at all, but I don't have the money to redo it. I was living in a two bedroom apartment in a luxury building and with the economy the way that it was, I decided I really needed to downsize. So I moved into a basement apartment in somebody else's house. When I moved into my new apartment, I looked at all the stuff that I had and I honestly had no idea where to put it. So I put the basics in my new apartment and the rest of it just got shoved into my parents' garage. Right now, my apartment has absolutely no style whatsoever. I love color and I have a big personality. My apartment doesn't reflect that in the least. I work for a nonprofit radio station. Oh, I'd like to make it a couplet. We are listener supported because of the economy. It's been a lot harder for us to reach our goal this year. I have no money to spend on the apartment. Everything that I'm saving, I'm actually putting away to save or I'm giving back to the radio station. One day I was flipping through Glamour magazine and I actually saw an article by a designer who said that you could completely redecorate your apartment and spend hardly any money. So from the pages of a magazine to Jen's front door, we sent designer Libby Langdon to work her magic. Hi. Jen. Yes. I'm Libby. Hey, Libby. How are you? Good, good. Come on in. Thank you. All right, so this is your new place. Yes, this is it. You've got all of this furniture in here, yes. and I'm noticing that there's not anything up on the walls, really. No, I have things. Okay. I've just never put them up. Wasn't sure what to do with them. Okay. I also didn't want to paint because I was afraid of making the room look smaller and not picking the right colors. Have I got a plan for you? <laughs> Excellent. But we're gonna take things that you already have. We're just gonna retool them and use them in a new way. All right, so this is the bedroom. Yes. Love your bedding. Oh, thank you. It's I've, beautiful. I love the colors in this. And you have no headboard. Nothing. So that is just making it feel a little bit cold, but the bedding is great. So I think there are some things we can do with what you have here to revamp it and give you a little pizzazz in your boudoir. I am wondering a little bit, I see that you don't have any drapes. There's no mm -hmm. fabric to soften these windows. Mm -hmm. Do you have any, any fabric, any, it could be a queen sheet, it could be a tablecloth? I do in the closet in here. Okay. I do have something I can show you. Okay, yeah, let me see. I have this. Okay. Which I bought a while ago, and I've never had any idea of what to do with it, and I love it. It's great. What is this? It's just a flat sheet. It's a sheet? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay, great. Yeah. Sometimes you want to look in your closet and see things that you have, and you might be able to come up with a new way to use them. I actually have even more stuff back in my parents' house in their garage. You do? I do. Yes. Let's go look at it. Uh, Can we use it? Yeah, absolutely. All right, we're going to your mom and dad. So, Libby, this is the garage. All right, check it out. <laughs> Rar. I'm gonna give you my keys, Thank and you. I'm gonna get out of here, all right? Okay. Oh, yeah. This chair, it's definitely coming. Let's get to work. So, up next, of course, the big reveal of Jen's new apartment. It looks like a million bucks, and it barely costs a thing right after this. see the big reveal here. A little earlier, we met a viewer named Jen who asked for help making her apartment look like a million bucks on a budget of just about zero. So when she told us that she saw decorator Libby Langdon work wonders in the pages of a magazine, we knew just who to send her away. Jen needed some throw pillows for her sofa, so I found this chocolate brown sheet, and I'm using some fusible tape that you iron on to make her some pillows. With a budget of next to nothing, Libby turned to old furniture Jen had shoved in her parents' garage, and when she needed a little extra help, 
She relied on one essential item. Paint is the least expensive way you can transform your space. In a small space, people are always worried to put a bold color on the wall. Choose just one wall for an accent color and paint the other three a neutral, softer tan. That way, visually, the one wall that has the bold color will actually recede and make your small space feel bigger. You're probably wondering what all this blue painter's tape is doing on the middle of the wall. What it's gonna do is I'm gonna paint in between and once I take this off, they're gonna be these white borders and she's got all black frames. So I'm just gonna hang the pictures in the white boxes and there's gonna be great contrast on this dark wall. Look at furniture you've already got and think about how different it would look if you painted it. I took this from Jen's parents' garage and it looked a little old fashioned there but with a fresh coat of glossy black paint, it's gonna look very, very cool. Because I couldn't go out and buy a headboard for Jen, I've decided to stencil one on her wall. So I'm gonna tape this in a cool pattern, paint the wall a color, and then when I take the tape off, there's gonna be a white makeshift headboard. All right, it's day two. Here we are, the wall paint's done. As you can see, I gotta get these rooms put back together. Paint chips are free in any hardware store, so just pick the colors for your room and create your own design. This is Jen's old coffee table, and I'm going to put a piece of glass on top. Voila, free headboard. All right, it's day three. I've got a lot of work to do before Jen sees her space, but this is the fun part, styling it to make it warm and inviting. You don't need to spend money on fresh flowers. Go out in your own backyard, pick some twigs, and spray paint them. They're a great contrast in front of this dark wall. I needed a plant stand, so I took this old shoe tree in a plate, and it worked perfectly. Art doesn't have to be expensive. These are silhouettes I printed off of the internet in a poster frame that Jen already had. You ready to check out the room? I am. I'm a little nervous. Don't be. Come on in. All right, Jen. Open your eyes. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Everything in here looks fantastic, Libby. This is the old piece that was in the garage. And this was your table that was under there. Amazing. Oh my old rickety bookshelf. Your sheets are now your drapes. That looks amazing. The kitchen table, it was in the kitchen and I figured you probably yeah. didn't need it. No there. one, yeah. no, never. Yeah, I can have people over and we can all be in the same room for yeah. one. Sometimes it just is a matter of moving furniture around that you already have in your space. Just move it to a different spot. All right, you want to check out your bedroom? Yes. <laughs> the colors are amazing. I made these and you used them. <laughs> and it looks like I have a headboard now. Is this the old? The old dresser <laughs> and my old tray tables are your nightstands. I'm in awe. It, it is, it's beautiful. Thank you so much, You're Libby. You're welcome. You're welcome. Enjoy it. Thank you. <laughs> right? Libby, Libby, her, her name should be Elvis. Libby is here. Libby, that is a, uh, just, I, I couldn't close my mouth. The whole time I'm watching, I'm like. <laughs> That's I mean, what you're supposed to it do. It's amazing what paint can do. Anybody would be silly not to use those tips. Sometimes it's hard to get an objective look at pieces you've already got. Yeah. So find inspiration in a design book, mine, a <laughs> magazine, TV show. But find designs that you like and then step back and look at pieces you've already got and see if you can retool them and rethink them in a new way. Exactly. I loved how you made her, all of her pictures really pop out of the wall with the white border. Brilliant. Well, the contrast is really important and that space is a small space. So you, any contrast you can add is going to add depth and dimension and make it feel much bigger. Absolutely fantastic. Jen is here, actually. <clears throat> Jen, I want to ask you about your social calendar. Are yes. you like dragging people home with oh, you now because absolutely. you just came with the show? Every every day I have somebody else over. Every day. And now, aren't you inspired that the next time you move, absolutely, like, what you, you're going to be able now to? Now I know what to do. I had no idea. Again, you saw the apartment. It was a blank slate. I had no idea what to do, and now I totally have great ideas. 
She brings out your inner creative, oh, doesn't absolutely. she? Absolutely, without a doubt. I mean, she's just amazing. I, I want to give her a huge fat plug for her big, <laughs> her big, lovely little book here. This is Libby Langdon's Small Space Solutions. It's in bookstores everywhere, by the way. All right, so she's got a cute little clever demo here, too. Let's walk on down, Liz. You go first, because I don't know what you're okay, doing. Okay, okay. So what are you gonna show us over here? All right, well the idea is no money makeover. Let's reuse things that we've already got. So look in your attic, in your garage. This is just an old door flipped on its side as a head.